Today, guys, we are going to be going through a haunted house, and this haunted house is not going to be an ordinary haunted house. Let's check it out. This story is about a small village at the first glance. It is no different from other villages, but something happened and it changed the lives of everyone involved in this story. Take a look at this and you will see mystery shrouded in strange fog. And also the story is about a man who have happened to be in that village by accident and who will have to influence the outcome of the mystical event. Okay. So what is this mystical event that we're going to be witnessing? My phone is not working. Here's no signal. All right. I really have no idea of where to go at this point. I'm guessing our main goal is to find some help from someone. Please help me, I need a call to emergency. This is a very weird little village here. What was that scream? Huh. At least there's a phone booth. Hello? Does not work. Of course, that ain't gonna work. Huh. Hey, can you help me? <laughs> Is he asleep? I was sitting in a boat on the lake when I saw the fog had descended on the water. I tried to swim to the shore, but I couldn't see anything. Finally, when I touched the shore, I rather ran, I rather ran home. In the house, I saw that my wife was frozen like a statue and my dear children were motionless. I ran out of the, ran out of the house in fright to find at least someone who could help me. He's dead. Need to get out of here. Uh, hi. Hey, bud. I don't think I've ever saw you here yet or before. That's super weird. That's the phone booth again.
Huh. Seems like he's coming from up here. Is anyone here? Uh, okay. I warned them. Those dirty little kids shouldn't have bullied him and his doll. I told their parents, but what's the use if they're the same themselves? They're also called me crazy. I'm okay. Is there people that need help over there or? Please help us. It is all your fault. I haven't done anything wrong to you. My only friend was my doll, but you were laughing at him, laughing at me. You even took a loved one away from me, and I've shown you what it's like. You will live in agony forever, and this will not change in any way. Okay. What the hell was that? Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh, God, the headphones are so loud. Yeah, I got these cool new headphones on my, on my ear. Oh, what? Um, okay. Oh, it's that same teddy bear. Oh, mother of freaking God. Hello. What am I doing here? I have to leave. That's not very creepy at all. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there's some stuff I need to find here. Oh, that's gross. Huh. Okay.
someone locked the door from the outside. Let's see, there are bars on all the windows. I need to find another way to get out of here. Oh my mother frick. Oh, stop it. Okay, maybe if I... Okay, no. What's going on here? Oh, wait, what? It had to happen. When I saw that boy through the window, I realized that he saw something he shouldn't have seen. I need to get ahead of him. God, I can't see it. Can't see a damn thing. Oh! Oh my god! What was that? I don't know what the hell that is. Do I even want to know? I don't even know where to go at this point. Okay. Is there like a way out of here or? Oh, mother. Oh. I need to find a way up to the attic. Why? Uh, okay, got this ladder. Everybody stay away from me. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, have I seen you in a game? That little red doll? It's been four weeks since the disappearance. Luca told me that it was children's fault. He gave me a letter from his mother and he said that I had to find out the truth. I need to fix this. See, I'm uh, trying to make it as like less laggy as possible. Oh, it's because that TV thing is what made it laggy. Okay. One, lock the doors. Two, I close my eyes. Three, I find a place for yourself. Four, don't breathe. Five, feel your heart pounding. 
six wait. The liar is fallen, must jump. There's a secret door here. There must be keys, a crowbar somewhere. Okay. I can only say what I feel to my doll. Luca always listens to me. Luca is my friend. Open the lock, use the hints. There's a phone, it seems. Oh. Okay, I was not seen before. Let's see. A key near the window seal. Oh. And there's one near a cabinet, too. Oh, God, man. Frick. Oh, frick. Okay. There's a second key. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got me. Okay, so I got the one that was near the window seal. I also got the one that was near the uh, oh, God. Stop that stop that God you mean things stop it mm -mm. Nope, you can all cut it out now. Okay. I mean, is that all? I mean, did I get them all? Okay, yeah, I got them. Okay. What is this place? Uh, Tikon, I understand if you are mad at me. I knew that deep down you wanted to have real friends and you missed the, li uh, the live co communication with other people. I couldn't let anyone get close to our family. Otherwise, they would have found out our secret. Okay, so there's some secrets. Is 
Secrets. And what happened to me? Now I would have happened much earlier. You were kind to everyone, but they didn't deserve it. I wanted the best for you. My mother, your grandmother, taught me many things, and she also told me to not to not to trust people because they are afraid of people like me. Oh. Whoa. I really don't like the sound of that. Oh! Wait, did you guys see that? There was... Oh, come on. You guys had to have seen it that time. Oh, mother... Ah, oh, come on. Nope. Nope. I have no idea of what to do. One, I lock the doors. Two, I close my, close my eyes. Find a place for yourself. Four. Don't breathe. Five. Feel your heart pounding. Six. Wait. Sway, come here. Don't be afraid. Okay. Cool, we ain't wasting no time, huh? Yep, we're wasting no time. We gotta go through there? Uh, that's a very ugly looking doll. Okay, anyway. Dear son, don't be afraid of death. 
death is rebirth you've done a lot a strange a new a new stage has arrived let them think they've beaten you it will destroy them Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know what to do here. Six kids bullied me. They mocked me because I was too kind because I'm not like everyone else. They were involved in the murder of my mother. I was able to punish five people. They wanted so much to go home to their mom and dad. I let their parents find the children on the doorstep, but what they saw, they couldn't believe their eyes. Their children were multi, they're mutilated. Now they're going to suffer just like me. <gasps> oh. Oh. I saw what he did to one of us with someone who didn't have time to hide. It was terrible. He said that he would return to us to our parents only in this form. It was true. I was just testing my luck on that one. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it again. He cut out our tongue and sewed up our mouth so we couldn't scream. He wanted, he wanted us to play with him. We asked to go home. He said we were sorry. Uh, but he replied that that time would come and the parents would see us again. Oh my God. Uh. Oh, I need a liar. A doll and candles. In order to perform the ritual, take a doll, burn a book, candles, and a lighter, burn in a circle, and then burn the house down. Okay, there's the lighter. Yeah, it looks like I found candles. Find out where that doll is. <laughs> Mother freaking God. Oh, there you are. Come here, you. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're definitely dead, doll. Oh. Thank you. You have no idea what you've done. Wait, what did I do?
Let's get out of here. I need gasoline. I'll burn this house down. Oh, okay. Well, there's some gas. Okay. So we burned the doll and burnt the whole house down. Wonder how come why we just didn't just burn the house down. Then again, they the ghost would probably move the doll away from the house and found some other way. There's a telephone connection. <sighs> Holy crap, man. Hello, uh, rescue service. What happened to you? Hello, I see a house burning in a abandoned village. Call the fire department. I'll explain where I am now. I recently watched a blogger. He said that he did not believe in anything paranormal and was in the houses where, uh, where according to eyewitnesses, something was happening. But he didn't find any evidence until one day he arrived at the abandoned pioneer camp. To be honest, I didn't believe him. I thought that everything he filmed was staged, but now after everything I've seen and experienced, and experienced, I realize that the world is not as simple as it seems, and we are not alone. Entities are always nearby, and until you see it for yourself, you won't believe it. I do not know why I decided on this ritual. I wanted to run, but something inside me demanded to put an end to all this. As a result, I realized that I was in the place for a reason, I, but I have no idea what lies ahead for me. Okay, this definitely tells you something. Don't do rituals.